Hey guys, it's Brent from the Beaver Builder team, and I want to show you what's new in Beaver Builder 2.0 Alpha 4. In Alpha 3, we added some speed improvements to how settings work, and we're building on that in Alpha 4 uh, with some new features to let you customize the interface and work more quickly. Settings panels now open in a new slim form factor, so they're not obscuring as much of the content. When you move them across the screen, they will now remember where you left them. So the next time you open a settings panel, it'll open in the same place. So I can move it over here. Same idea. You can also resize the settings panels to suit whatever you need. So if you have, uh, if you've got some text you want to edit and you need a little bit more room, you can do that. Or if you just want to get it out of the way, you can slim it down. Uh, settings panels can now also remain open while you move between items in your layout and uh, while you work. So as you can see the column width here, if I'm working on a column and resizing, you can see that width is changing in the settings as I move. I can click another item and do the same thing. And the settings stay synced. In addition to being able to resize settings, uh, you can also choose to pin them now, either to the left or the right side of your screen. While they're pinned, uh, the sidebar can be resized or collapsed entirely to give you the most flexibility while you're working. And if the sidebar is collapsed and you click another item in the layout, it opens back up. The pinned settings panel also includes the tabs from the content panel, so you can quickly get to uh, the content items to add new modules or rows or templates while you're working. One of the benefits to not needing to close the settings panel is that you can move between elements in the layout and not actually ever have to hit save. So if I click on an icon, I can go and change what it is. And then rather than going down and hitting save and dismissing this panel, I'm just going to click another item. So here I have a column and I can go and change the background color on the column and I can resize it and I can go and get a new module. And you notice as I'm moving between these things, I don't need to go down here and hit save. Beaver Builder is saving my changes and remembering what I've done and I just keep on going along. All of these preferences are saved to your WordPress user, so they'll remain consistent as you go between pages. They also, since it's your user, they won't affect anyone else. Everyone gets to have their own preference of how they like Beaver Builder configured. We hope you guys enjoy these new features. Uh, look for Alpha 4 coming out this week and let us know if you have questions or comments. Thanks so much.